a 32 years old lady present with dysphagia so difficulty in deglutition she has 10 year history of the anemia so it is a longer time of anemia which is the 10 years secondary to menorrhagia that means loss of blood through menstruation and has strongly resistance to treatment what is the most likely underlying causes here are the options options are candidiasis globus squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus adenocarcinoma of the esophagus and palmar binson syndrome so what may be the answer here the first point is the dysphagia that means there is pathology in the throat the second one 10 year history of the anemia so let's see the anemia and dysphagia so what may be the cause is there any association with anemia with dysphagia that means anemia with pain in deglutition let's see this condition now see this is the palmar vinson syndrome in case of palmar vinson syndrome there is esophageal wave and iron deficiency anemia so when there is a iron deficiency anemia and esophageal wave that means when there is a esophageal wave in this condition there is pain in the deglutition so in this condition palmar vinson syndrome develop this is the triad of the palmar vinson syndrome what is it the iron deficiency anemia first of all let's see the iron deficiency anemia second one is the esophageal wave and third one is the dysphagia so when this three component accumulate then the diagnosis will be palmar vinson syndrome first of all iron deficiency anemia second one of uh, all the esophageal wave and third one dysphagia so this uh, here we can see the palmar vinson syndrome there is associated with iron deficiency anemia with glossitis with dysphagia so when there is anemia with dysphagia go for palmar vinson syndrome nothing else and the clinical feature what is the clinical feature it is female female predominant there is burning sensation of the tongue and oral mucosa and also in the throat for this condition dysphagia develop severe angular stomatitis atrophy of the lingual pupilla, pupilla difficulty in swallowing esophageal wave and colonica that is huge use the clinical feature by to, we have to keep in mind only two or three which is the uh, esophageal wave difficulty in swallowing and also there is the anemia this is enough for diagnosis of the palmar vinson syndrome and what is the treatment as there is deficiency of iron so supplementation of iron is enough for the for recovery from the palmar vinson syndrome and what will be fate of the esophageal wave usually it is treated by mechanical dilation of the upper endoscopy so what is our answer it is the palmar vinson syndrome why this is palmar vinson syndrome because it follow a tr triad the triad is the anemia esophageal wave and dysphagia so these are the diagnostic point of the palmar vinson syndrome so again anemia esophageal wave and dysphagia and in the question here we can see there is the dysphagia present and the anemia present other option in the question such as the squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma but the carcinoma it gives very shorter duration of the time and the candidiasis candidiasis it also uh, shorter duration and candidiasis develop in the patient who usually suffering from a chronic disease or immunocompromised patient in this condition the candidiasis and globus also not true so our option is the or our answer is the candid uh, our answer not candidiasis our answer is the palmer vinson syndrome